If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Lil Baby is releasing his new album, It's Only Me, this Friday on October 14th. And in this video, we're gonna go over everything that we know about this new record. So let's jump straight into this. So let's start with the beginning, how this all started out. Because the last record that we got from Lil Baby was in the beginning of 2020, which was my turn. Obviously the very big album that elevated him to yet another level of stardom and fame and also respect in hip hop. Because before that, he was just another mumble rapper co-signed by a young thug coming out of Atlanta. But my turn and especially also stuff like The Bigger Picture completely changed that. Well, since then, we really haven't gotten a lot. We've gotten tweets, for example, from him saying that he will drop in the summer, um, which then never happened because it now turned out to be October. But hey, baby, I, I was waiting all summer. I was making videos on you. Never drop. But he was also busy dropping a couple of singles around April of this year. So only about like six, like half a year ago. Um, and those singles were mainly three. They were In a Minute, a leak that we've been waiting for for a very long time. They were right on and frozen and those are going to come into play a bit later on as well i just wanted to mention that because it was like part of the very very early rollout of this thing well the next thing we got is actually not that far into the past it's about a month ago which was when the detox single dropped now detox was a single that he dropped in the same day that he also announced the album we're going to get into the announcement in a second but this single was all right it was nothing like too crazy it was just a, a classic basic baby single kind of following the same formula that's always worked for him and he probably put this out to test the waters of how people are gonna perceive this album but then as I already said the same day he announced the album and gave us the title it's only me he gave us the cover art for this thing which is him sitting you know at this lake of like this drawn image I think it looks really cool in the back is a Mount Rushmore of the different phases that baby has gone through in his career and we can see like two goats around him so there are a couple of references definitely to the my turn cover but all in all I think this looks dope it also gives us a little bit more perspective as to you know what's how his whole story was coming up from the young little baby to the baby we know now so I do really like this cover and with it obviously also came the release date of October 14th which at the time was still a month ahead in the future um, and I thought it was gonna do more for the rollout until now but it is what it is we got to deal with it how it is uh, but it's dropping October 14th which is obviously this Friday in two days so that's you know when y'all can expect it but everybody knows that by now but he gave us that date on that day well then the next thing that happened is only a couple of days ago uh, when he tweeted that this album was gonna have 23 songs and seven features and no deluxe. That was the big news that we got a couple of days ago. Um, I At that time I thought like, okay, 23 songs is quite a lot and seven features are also not that many. So he's gonna go solo for the majority of this album. Of course, saying that there isn't gonna be a deluxe is like, okay, probably the, the deluxe is already integrated into it he just doesn't want to make it a whole different you know album that's dropping later on which doesn't make a lot of sense from like a marketing aspect but baby can do whatever he wants um so that's why i thought okay 23 songs maybe it isn't that much it just seems like a lot well it is a lot but like you know if there's no deluxe then that's already taken away from it but that was the information that we got and then the most interesting thing what i talked about yesterday was probably yesterday the day yesterday which it was the day that a new single dropped it was called hey with two y's and he also dropped a video for for it. I think it's going it's going pretty well for him so far. I mean, we can't really judge a single that drops on a Monday. We can't really, you know, judge it that well in terms of how much is selling and how much is, you know, it doing commercially and stuff like that. But the single is actually pretty good. I like it. I like it quite a lot. I've been listening to it ever since yesterday when it came out, but I've been listening to it on repeat. I like the single quite a bit. Again, it's like a formula that he always sticks to. It's just classic baby material but I like it. And with that, then also, we had, a, we had a leak track list at some point that appeared on Apple Music, and I went over that in the video yesterday, but later on the same day, he also dropped the official track list on his Instagram, and this is obviously the most you know exciting part, so let's look at this, let's break this down, and let's see what features he got, for example, and what the titles are for the tracks. So this is it. This is the track list for It's Only Me 
little baby. Let's go through this. Let's go see what you know artists we have on here and what what features we got. Um, and we can kind of pick apart a little bit. The first you know song is called Real Spill. The second one is called Stand on It. And we can't say a lot about the songs that don't have a feature, so we just gotta accept them like that. The third one is called Pop Out with Nardo Wig, which I really like because giving Nardo Wig a platform is amazing for um, you know an Atlanta artist. Uh, the fourth track is Hey, so the second single that we got. The fifth one is called California Breeze. The sixth one is called Perfect Timing, also the title of his first mixtape back in 2017. Seventh track is called Never Hating with Young Thug and a Young Thug feature nowadays. Pretty dope as he's still battling with the Rico charges. The eighth track is called Forever with Friday. Friday, amazing artist, delivered a great performance, for example, on God Did, the title track of the DJ Khaled record. The ninth track is called Not Finished. The tenth track is In a Minute, the one I mentioned earlier about the singles that dropped in April. And this is very interesting because this is the only one of the singles that dropped in April that made it to the track list. I thought either all of them were going to make it or right on because that wasn't a leak and that was the one that did the best but apparently in a minute made it which is really weird i thought either all or none were gonna make it but in a minute is on here and i'm happy about it. in a minute was by far my favorite song of the ones that dropped then we have a track called waterfall flow then we have a track called everything and we have a track called from now on with future that is also pretty exciting because baby and future always deliver something you know future was also on my turn so that was kind of like speaks for itself then we have a track called Double Down, also can't say a lot about that. Then a track with the 4PF artist Rilo Rodriguez called Cost To Be Alive, uh, which was kind of a given that he was going to have a 4PF artist on here. It's either going to be Nudo or Rilo Rodriguez, but he went for Rilo Rodriguez, who was also already on my turn. Then a track called Top Priority, then Danger, then a Jeremiah feature on Stop Playing, which I think is going to be really dope to see what that's going to be about. Um, then a track called For Real or FR, then an ESTG feature on Back and Forth, interesting, you know, the two of them already collaborated on Real As It Gets, but I do like that ESTG is on here, he's been on a roll lately as well. Then a Pushaisty feature on Shice Talk, um, now Pushaisty also collaborated with Lil Baby in the past, but you know, to see them link back up again is actually pretty cool, and then two... Uh, tracks without a feature no fly zone and russian roulette now in terms of the features obviously people are going to be like okay you know i was expecting this actually i was expecting a drake feature you know to be completely real with you i was expecting a drake feature um but apparently that didn't quite work out for baby i was also expecting maybe like you know these these features are very like niche you know a nardo wick feature a estg feature that's like people not from the south or like people in you know that are not into the game that much that baby wants to cater to those features will not do a lot for them but i respect baby a lot for putting them on here let me say it like that but i just hope it doesn't you know take away from the commercial accessibility of the record now this is the track list and the interesting part is that detox isn't on here um and, you know only the single hey that he dropped is on it and in a minute so maybe he saw that detox wasn't received too well and then decided to not put it on here which is sad because detox was an amazing track but maybe it's a wise business move maybe it'll save him millions of dollars we gotta we gotta wait and see we also got to talk about some extracurricular stuff that he's done for example earlier last month i think at the end of august or beginning of september he scored the official fifa world cup soccer uh, theme song the anthem with the world is yours to take the interpolation of everybody wants to rule the world a lot of people expressed negative opinions about this i'm also not quite sold yet but um, it is what it is, at least Baby is getting big exposure from that one, being the official World Cup artist is crazy. You remember people like Shakira or, you know, other like Tim, uh, I think Pitbull at one point was it. So people were going crazy for that. Um, now, now it's Baby, so that's crazy. And also he had that documentary, Untrapped, the story of Lil Baby, which a lot of people found very inspiring, me, myself included. Um, and that's also given him a huge boost when it comes to this album. So he's been like in the... In, in the talks and people are talking about him which is which is good you know that people you know people are noticing baby and this new album is going to be amazing there's everything that we know about this we know the release date the cover art uh the features the track list we know the singles what singles made it what singles didn't make it all that stuff now the most important part for me let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for this? What's the track that you're most excited for? What feature are you most excited for? All of your theories and your, you know, your thoughts on this, your expectations, all of that, please let me know in the comments down below. 
If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.